72 hours, goddamn, I'm feeling late Damn, I'm in the fake, my mind is living on cloud nine And this line is never on vacation Sound of that Maserati guys welcome back to the channel I really hope you're having a good day hopefully you enjoyed the clips at the beginning trust me those clips went on for like another five or ten minutes I just spared you guys the trouble like you get it okay so I don't think I'm gonna change anything about this build going into the Blackwood patch unless Zoss comes out with an extremely overpowered five piece which I highly doubt it with the current game state this build is super tanky. You don't even need streak. Like I said, obviously you can use streak instead of mines, but you guys saw perfectly well I perform without it. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Character sheet, uh, everything completely unbuffed. Uh, buffed on the back bar. We got uh, this shit right here. Well, I lied. This shit right here. And then front bar. 
It's 2400 spell damage. Uh, without our weapon damage proc and without our uh, perfected Maelstrom or whatever staff buff, it goes uh, well over 3500. With continuous attack, you're actually pushing 4k spell damage for your burst, which 4k spell damage with a 44k max magic pool on your back bar is absolutely absurd, guys. It's a lot of damage. A lot. Running uh, High Elf. You can run Dark Elf, just preference really. Bewitch Sugar Skulls and running the Mage Mundus. I'm going to quickly go through my sets because you guys have already sit through enough. So first step is the upper, the Masters, excuse me, Perfected Inferno Staff. Running Nurnhood on this because the more spell damage you have, the better it stacks, the higher you go. So I push as much spell damage as I possibly could on this build. If you don't have the perfected one, it's okay. You're just going to be missing out on like 103 spell damage. No big deal. Back bar only running. A sword and board of Armor Master. Obviously, Armor Master is by far one of my favorite light armor sets. And I don't see me changing this whatsoever going forward. Running Engine Guardian. You can run whatever set you want. But Engine Guardian gives you literally everything you need. If it gives you a stamina proc, you can use Dark Conversion for magic. It gives you a health proc. It's awesome. You'll have a direct heal. If it gives you magic, it's even better. Plus, it blocks all kinds of shit. Plus, your hardened ward actually applies to your EG. So, as long as you're really good at line of siding behind your EG, you can be a real cuck to some people. It's quite hilarious. Uh, running Impin on most of the pieces. You can run uh, Impin well fitted. I would uh, bounce between the two if I had a couple more well fitted pieces. Ideally, I would run four in pen, three well fitted. Um, that's just my preference. Running five one one. However, you can get the uh, five one one. Uh, ideally, you want a heavy head and medium shoulder, but I don't have that. But it's really not that big a deal to be honest with you. Got tri sets on the big pieces for a higher health pool, and then the last set we're running is crafty. This just gives us more max magic for shields of both offensive and defensive set because max magic increases our shield strength. And on the jewelry, just running straight up recovery. To be honest, you guys saw me over sustaining pretty well. I think you can get away with running one spell damage if you want to push that spell damage even higher. It's entirely up to you. Skill wise, crystal frags, curse, obviously. Mines, this uh, you have one flex spot in your front bar, you can run streaker mines. People call me crazy for not running streak, but I just don't like that play style. Um, I'd much rather play on my own terms with Daydream Minefield. It offers a lot of surprising bursts, and you can even push people into your Mods with Flame Clinch if you're really good about your positioning. Next is Crushing Shock. The reason we're running Crushing Shock and not Ellie Weapons is because it gives you three instances of damage, and since we don't have a direct heal, we're relying on our Critical Surge heal in order to get our healing. So you pretty much on every critical hit you get you get a flat healing amount and crushing shock pretty much guarantees that every weave so flame clinch uh, this is obviously to proc our uh, perfected inferno staff and this really good cc as well um, you do have to be up close and personal that's why mines is really good with this and then for the ultimate ring the uh, summon charge astro the reason i'm running this one is just more aoe coverage um you notice in the clips there the Frank, you know, the Astro actually does a pretty decent amount of AoE damage when he punches the ground. Plus, you can line of sight behind Frank and your hard wars apply to Frank, which is kind of busted. Dark conversion, absolute must. Hardened and dampened. You're not going to get away with running harness, I don't believe. Uh, just run dampened just so you have uh, even beefier wards. Uh, critical surge, like I said, for our healing and our major sorcery. And then boundless storm for our defense buff. And also, the lightning helps keep you capped off because every time this lightning crits and hits someone around you you're healing with critical surge so this duo right here is probably one of my favorite on the sorcerer kit last but not least temporal guard this gives you minor protection on the back bar further reducing your income damage by five percent do not forget to have all your sword and board passives absolute must and then we're gonna go right into the cp actually i lied potions run try stats that's all that's it. <laughs> Just run try stats. Here's blue trees. I'm not going to go over them too much. You guys can pause if you would like. Keep in mind, I'm not max CP on this account, so you're going to have a little bit more to play around with. And that does it. Try to keep it short and sweet, fellas. 
if this build changes i will let you know but this is what i'm gonna run i love it super tanky you could be mobile you hit like a fucking freight train it's max work it's fun so thank you guys for tuning in like sub comment deuces